Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope all of you are doing great. This is your coach Tehreen Tariq here from the platform of university.org and wejob.org. And I cordially welcome all of you in this new live session of content writing class. And in today's video, we will discuss about and we will try our best to discuss about uh, the three uh, softwares that are going to help you a lot in order to uh, maintain all the grammatical errors whenever you are uh, doing content writing, whenever you are creating some kind of content. So these three uh, of the software, there are so many alternatives available for these softwares as well, but uh, uh, we cannot discuss each and everything in detail uh, as it is a three months curriculum. So uh, we will discuss about three softwares today. First one is Grammarly. That is the most common, most convenient and uh, most feasible uh, software in order to use uh, for all the grammatical uh, for checking uh, for uh, the check and balance on all the grammatical errors in your content and also uh, for maintaining uh, the decorum of your content then comes uh, ginger ginger writer is another uh, very important tool to learn uh, whenever uh, you are doing content writing so because there are some people who demands to use a certain software and you have to uh, utilize and under understand each and everything about that software for example when i started content writing i used to um, i used to be uh, very comfortable with grammarly and i i was used to of uh, utilizing each and every feature of grammarly it uh, while doing content writing but when i uh, started uh, freelancing i got a project of uh, proofreading and editing and that was a project from japan and uh, that client belongs to uh, pakistan but uh, he uh, currently uh, at that time he was living in japan and he assigned me a project of proofreading where i have uh, to maintain uh, and i have i had to do rephrasing of uh, uh, the book so uh, that was a project certain project related to the book so i am uh, discussing my personal experience over here because um, whenever you are starting freelancing and whenever you are doing freelancing you must not be uh, very rigid in your uh, behavior you must have a flexible behavior and you must also have a flexible personality of understanding because i was used to be very comfortable with grammarly but when i uh, received a project that was on client's demand that i have to do the proofreading uh, uh by the help of any software but the rephrasing of uh, that particular book was to be done by the help of ginger writer so basically ginger writer is uh, another very important tool that is that can also be used for uh grammar for checking up all the grammatical errors but uh on that note, in that project, I used uh, Ginger Writer for the rephrasing purposes. And also, uh, we will discuss Ginger Writer today uh, for uh, checking up grammar because today's topic is all about uh, proofreading and editing. And uh, this topic is very important for uh, for uh, grammatical uh, for checking up your grammatical errors and fixing all those errors so in today's video we will discuss about ginger writer in that context but when we are going to discuss about rephrasing how to rephrase your content uh, in the upcoming sessions then we will again uh, discuss about about ginger writer and in that uh, uh, session we will discuss about uh, the feature of ginger writer to rephrase your content okay so uh, last but not the least uh, software for today is going to be a wordtune software these all are the these three are the major most important most convenient and the most feasible softwares that you can utilize uh, for the proofreading and editing purposes for rephrasing purposes and for uh, maintaining the decorum of your uh, content for writing up uh, the more powerful content uh, they they do provide uh, a kind of power to your content so when for example whenever we uh, start doing content writing we uh, we are so much uh, not inclined towards uh, the uh, the grammatical check or uh, the punctuation check whenever we are doing content writing but uh, if, uh, for example, if we are uh, maintain, if we are repeating some kind of sentences again and again in our um, in our content, so these softwares are going to these are kind of AI softwares. So they are going to help you like your companion in order to write something and uh, um, minimizing all the grammatical errors, all the punctuation errors, and all the uh, kind of uh, repetitions 
repetition is also a, another kind of error in your content so whenever you are doing repetition they are going to highlight that particular sentence and then they are going to modify that sentence and fix that sentence as well so it, it these three softwares are going to help you a lot a lot and a lot while uh, doing content writing so i request all of you to please install download the applications of these softwares as well right now today uh, right after the session and then also add extensions of these softwares in your google chrome i hope all of you have already installed uh, google chrome in your laptops and pcs but if you do not have uh, pre installed google chrome kindly do install it first because you, we are going to utilize a lot of google services by the help of google chrome and also um, uh, if you are utilizing some kind of softwares like uh, we are talk currently we are talking about grammarly ginger and vertune so you all have to add extensions of these softwares on your google chrome as well and also in the uh, in your microsoft word as you, as uh, i said earlier in the last session uh, when we were discussing about microsoft word i uh, told you about that this is the ginger extension and uh, when if if that particular extension is installed on your uh, computers on your google chrome on your on your microsoft word google document etc so if their extensions are installed then they are going to help you a lot uh, simultaneously while writing your content you do not have to go to uh, ginger or grammarly separately uh, on their um, on their uh, on their applications or uh, on their browsers uh, but they are going to help you simultaneously when you are writing content like uh, when we write content on microsoft word uh, microsoft has a built in uh, uh, grammatical and uh, spell checker na? so uh, it also helps us simultaneously while we are writing content but if we are going to install grammarly uh, ginger or either word tune even uh, we will discuss another uh, software uh, when we will discuss about rephrasing that also that is also a kind of ai software and that also helps a lot in grammatical checker and uh, uh, and also in checking up all the uh, punctuation errors or grammatical errors or each and everything na, in your content so uh, this these uh, softwares are going to help you a lot so i do suggest all of you to please install grammarly uh, word tune as well as ginger in your laptops and also add their extensions uh, on the google chrome so i don't think that i have to discuss that how to install these softwares and uh, how to uh, add their extensions i think you all are pretty much qualified students and you can do it by yourself but if you still face any kind of issue while installing them or adding their extensions on the google chrome you can contact me anytime and i will guide you further in that regard okay so first of all we will discuss about them uh, theoretically then we will go ahead and we will have a kind of practical demonstrations of uh, ginger grammarly and then what okay let's share my screen first then we will uh, discuss about it in detail okay so as you can see over here uh, the lecture number 5 of week number 2 consists of three major tools or softwares first one is uh, grammarly second one is ginger and the third one is vertune so basically writing assistance tools such as ginger grammarly and vertunes are software applications that are designed to help users improve their writing styles enhance the clarity and correctness of the text optimize their productivity and enhancing uh, the actual decorum of their content these tools utilize advanced algorithms artificial intelligence and natural language process processing techniques to analyze text and provide suggestions for improving grammar even for example grammarly is installed in your computer and you are using whatsapp it is going to help you a lot in even writing your uh, message in english and it will uh, immediately check all the grammatical errors in your content and they are going to fix it right away either it is ginger either it is grammarly uh, word tune there are so many other alternatives available for them as well like quillbot etc so these all are the alternative softwares that are a kind of artificial intelligence and they are going to help you a lot while you are writing your content okay so until now we have discussed about the word processing uh, softwares or the tools that are required in content writing right now we are discussing about the tools that are going to help you a lot for uh, checking up your grammatical errors because if your content is not grammatical free then uh, your client uh, will get immediately distracted from your content and they are not going to assign you any other project next time okay so being uh, uh, 
safe uh, on a safe end you have to install all these uh, uh, kind of software it doesn't matter that how much pro in um, how much you are uh, you are pro professional in in uh, in speaking english and writing in english but uh, we always do a kind of mistakes that are called as uh, grammatical errors and they are human errors so we can fix it now so we can help seek help of these softwares we can uh, uh, seek help from these companions uh, because i do call them as companions because they are helping us a lot when we are writing content and they immediately fix all the issues i hope uh, some of you are currently using them as well um, you people are pretty much aware of grammarly but uh, you have not uh, listened until now about uh, ginger or uh, vertune but i think uh, there are so many alternatives also available for these softwares as well but these are the most common one these are the most uh, convenient one to you so i am more comfortable with these three softwares so that is why i am sharing them over here and i added ginger over here because i uh, i received because of that particular project when uh, where it was on client demand that i have to uh, rephrase the content uh, by using uh, the ginger software and also he paid me for uh, for the ginger subscription because ginger is not a free software grammarly is a kind of free software and you can use it uh, it's some uh, some of the features of grammarly on free basis and you do not have to go directly on the premium one uh, one right after 14 days or uh, like uh, one month etc but ginger is uh, a kind of paid software and uh, after 14 days trial you have to come uh, if if you want to uh, go ahead and use ginger further you have to purchase the premium version of ginger so that is why i am not uh, more inclined towards the software in uh, when because you are you people are just in the beginning of your journey of content writing okay so i am not inclined towards telling you about all the paid software that are available for content writing that are more uh, convenient to use for content writing so that is why i am more inclined towards the software that are available for free and you can utilize them um, uh, without any cost and you do not have to spend a lot of money on these softwares because currently you are in the initial journey so i would suggest all of you to please uh, for for your learning you can use ginger for 14 days okay but i would suggest that grammarly is a evergreen software and you can use it, uh, some of the features of grammarly free of cost anytime and you do not have to pay for those features but right after 14 days ginger will ask you for the premium version and uh, um, after that you you at any cost you have to if you want to continue further with ginger you have to pay for it okay so um, being the free one i am more inclined towards grammarly so you uh, it depends completely on your feasibility but i it is my responsibility to tell you about that uh, this one is free and this one uh, for this uh, for using this software you have to pay for it so um let's discuss more about it these tools utilize advanced algorithms, artificial intelligence, and natural language processing techniques to analyze text and provide suggestions for improving grammar, punctuation, and spelling style, etc., and other aspects of writing. Here is a more detailed explanation of these three uh, popular writing tools. First one is Grammarly. Grammarly is one of the most widely used writing assistant tools available today. It offers a comprehensive set of features to help users write error-free and polished content. Grammarly provides real-time feedback and suggestion for correcting your grammar, punctuation, spelling style, conciseness, clarity, and vocabulary usage. Whenever these all are the features of Grammarly. So whenever you are writing, uh, uh, you are writing on Microsoft Word, either on uh, on the Google document, either you are writing kind of emails, either you are writing uh, messages on WhatsApp. If uh, Grammarly is installed in your laptop and its extension is added over in your microsoft office as well as uh, in your google chrome grammarly is going to help you a lot a lot a lot in regard to these all these features like plagiarism it is going to check your plagiarism it is uh, going to make your content more readable it, it will correct all the punctuation mistakes all the grammatical errors all the spell errors styles conciseness clarity uh, it is going to make your uh, for example uh, clarity and conciseness are the two terminologies in uh, for which I, I was talking about like if we are doing repetition in our content if we are writing uh, uh, a single word many times in our content it creates boredom in our content now so grammarly is going to check all these uh, 
boredom aspect as well and it is going to uh, make your content more concise and clear uh, in all the aspects and uh, also uh, it will also keep a check on vocabulary as well it also offers additional functionalities including plagiarism checker readability analysis and suggestions for improving document tone but these all plagiarism checking readability analysis and suggestions for improving document tone are the paid features of grammarly they are not free of cost and for uh, utilizing these features you have to pay for it but all these features like grammar checking but uh, uh, if uh, if grammarly is doing grammar checking it is uh, bound towards uh, uh, to the uh, uh, to a certain limit of sentences for example it is going to uh, check uh, like uh, 16 uh, sentences at a time then going to 16 sentences another time then 16 sen sentences after that but if uh, if you are on premium version of grammarly you can check a lot of text at a time uh, that is going to uh, prevent you uh, from spending a lot of time in doing rephrasing and checking uh, the grammatical aspect so uh, but last the features these like uh, plagiarism checking readability analysis and suggestions these all are the paid features of grammarly but uh, grammarly is more convenient and feasible to use because it provides you the all the basic features of content writing free of cost and uh, you do not have to pay for it after a certain time time frame of uh, like trial uh, after uh, trial time you do not have to pay for it okay but uh, if we talk about ginger vertune etc these are all are going to uh, ask you uh, for the premium version and for purchasing their premium version after their 14 days of trial ginger is another popular writing assistant uh, that helps user enhance their uh, english sorry uh, we were discussing about grammarly grammarly uh, uh, it uh, grammarly can be integrated into various platforms such as web browsers as i said earlier if you have google chrome installed kindly install the extension of grammar it is going to help you a lot on the web browsers then uh, microsoft word uh, microsoft office in all the microsoft uh, microsoft office aspects you can uh, have the grammarly extension for example if you are utilizing microsoft powerpoint you must have the grammarly extension if you are utilizing uh, the microsoft word uh, you must have the grammarly uh, extension as well over there so uh, if uh, grammarly is integrated in all these platforms these are this is going to help you a lot a lot whenever you are uh, working as a professional then google documents and uh, smartphones making it easy easily accessible across different uh, writing environments it, it is also more feasible because uh, the application is also available and also you can utilize it on uh, web browsers so uh, its uh, mobile application is also available its desktop application is also available and as well as the macbook uh, application is also available so we can use grammarly on each and every smartphone on each and every iphone like uh, and each and every uh, simple desktops and pieces as well so it is a kind of more feasible more convenient uh, software to use whenever you are doing content writing then comes ginger ginger is another popular writing assistant that helps uh, user enhance their english writing skills it offers comparable features to grammarly such as grammar and spelling correction punctuation checks and style improvement suggestions ginger provides explanation for the detected errors offer offering users a better understanding of the writing tool in order to help uh, them avoid making uh, similar mistakes in the future additionally ginger offers translation services contextual synonyms sentence rephrasing uh, suggestions and personal dictionary features as well to save custom terms or commonly used phrases it completely depends on us that how we are utilizing the tools and features available in these softwares for example grammarly is provide we must have a pretty much knowledge about each and every software and i'm going to provide you a lot of uh, a whole kind of practical demonstration about these three softwares and i'm going to tell you a lot and we will have a kind of uh, differentiation lecture on it um, in the next session inshallah i will teach you about that what is the major difference between grammarly ginger and vertune what are the features available in grammarly but not in ginger and what are the features available in ginger not in vertune so we are going to have a comparative uh, uh, session on it and after that you yourself will have to analyze that what kind of software is more convenient and feasible for you to use and it also depends on the uh, kind of projects you are getting so but uh, 
grammatical check and spell check and uh, uh, like uh, conciseness and clarity is required in every type of content you are uh, currently doing so grammarly must be installed and be there in your computer whenever you are starting content writing but ginger is providing you a kind of uh, features that are um, optional to use and it depends on the projects if you are getting projects like uh, uh, for example if you are getting uh, projects that require rephrasing then you are uh, you can proceed ahead and you can use uh, ginger writer because ginger provides you a lot of um, um, like uh, options for you when, uh, while you are rephrasing a kind of sentence on Jinder. And uh, it helps you a lot in uh, doing rephrasing. So, but uh, as I said earlier, each and, each and every software is more convenient in respect to a certain feature. So it depends on you that uh, how you are going to utilize that feature. It depends on the projects you are getting. It, it, it depends on the condition uh, of uh, that particular project, okay? So if you if you consider that uh, in this project I I must have a software I must have to learn a software that is helping me a lot and in in, minim, in minimizing my work as well as uh, the workload on me and the time load on me so then uh, you can go ahead and you can use any kind of software these all are kind of AI uh, uh, power assistants and uh, uh, Ginger Grammarly each and everything they are AI tools now so you can utilize it at uh, your own feasibility. Offering users better understanding of writing uh, rules in order to help them avoiding making similar mistakes in the future. Additionally, Ginger offers translation services, contextual uh, synonyms, sentence rephrasing suggestions, and personal dictionary as well. Like Grammarly, Ginger can be integrated to a, very, a wide range of writing platforms, both offline and online. Okay. Then comes Vertune. Vertune is a writing assistance tool that focuses on refining and rewriting sentences to improve the clarity, style, and overall quality of the sentence. It utilizes advanced machine learning algorithms to analyze written, the written text and uh, suggest rephrases, word re replacements, and alternative phrases uh, it, in order to make your content more concise and clear. Vertune provides users with multiple options for rewriting their sentences, allowing them to, uh, to choose the most suitable alternative that aligns uh, with their intended tone and style. This tool uh, is designed to save users time by offering specific suggestions to enhance clarity and conciseness. Vertune can be integrated also in some uh, of the softwares like Google Document. Uh, sorry, if uh, um, a kind of extension is added on the Google Chrome, it is going to work on all the Google services. For example, as you can see over here on my screen, this is uh, the ex extension of Ginger Writer. This is the extension of Grammarly. And this one is the extension of Vertune. And if these three extensions are there in integrated in my Google uh, uh, browser on in my um, on my web browser then it is going to work in all the software that are available uh, currently in this uh, browser okay so overall writing assistance tools like grammarly ginger and vertune are valuable resources for improving writing skills minimizing mistakes and enhancing the written quality of the content with their advanced algorithm these tools help users refine their grammar punctuation style vocabulary and clarity etc ensuring that their written communication is more effective and professional so that is all for today and uh, uh, in this video i i was just uh, i just wanted to discuss them uh, in theoretically because uh, you must know that what is the actual difference between grammarly ginger and vertune somehow their uh, reason to use is same but uh, they provide you a lot of different features that are not available in uh, in the next one and uh, you have to utilize that particular feature in other aspect but uh, if you uh, want to have a single software in hand so i would suggest that you must have grammarly installed in your computer in your laptops but uh, you can also use ginger you must uh, keep in mind that whenever you get projects of rephrasing you must go ahead and use ginger writer as well it provides you a lot of information it provides you a lot of uh, options uh, in, in regard to the rephrasing and I will tell you in detail about uh, how to uh, use these softwares and how these softwares are going to help you while uh, doing your content writing okay in the next uh, practical session so that is all for today if you have any question you are more than welcome to ask and let me add all of you on stage first then uh, if you have any question you are more than welcome to ask about this uh, uh, topic as well as from the yesterday
and until now i have not received any of the google document except shafkat bano madiha siddiq and alishba anjo alishba ahmed i think sorry um, except uh, these three students no one else has shared uh, their google document until now with me and i have not also received a kind of list of niche that i assigned you in the um, uh, the day before yesterday and uh, uh, also uh, in the yesterday session i assigned you task but uh, none of you are working on it but i am not going to repeat it again and again and uh, if you are not providing me uh, the google document i am not going to uh, make your assessment in that regard tools on mobile okay madiha is asking can we de use these tools on mobile obviously i said uh, in the in the letter session of uh, today that you uh, the most convenient way to use uh, this uh, the most convenient reason uh, to have these three software is that their uh, mobile applications are also available. Their uh, laptop and MacBook applications are also available. Even their browser extensions are available. So you can utilize them as well on mobile phones and uh, uh, on laptops as well. But I do repeat it on daily basis that being a content writer, Please do not make yourself more feasible to use each and everything on mobile phones. Try to use and explore the new things on laptops and PCs because if you are not utilizing laptops, um, you cannot become a good content writer and you are not going to fulfill all the project requirement in future when you are going to work as a freelancer in the field of content writing. If anyone else have any, have any question, you are more than welcome to ask. Okay, so if you have not any question and uh, let's end up this uh, stream over here, we will catch up in the next session. Till then, stay safe, stay great, good luck.